Hello, this is Watch All About, and in this review, we're looking at another one of the uh, C9 five day uh, models from Christopher Ward. And this one in particular is the, uh, the standard C9 five day uh, model, but it's the 40 mil um, wide version. Uh, I've already done a review of the, the standard 43 mil version, which many believe that it is slightly too big, and I'm probably on that boat as well. So, um, this 40 mil version. I feel is a much better size. It fits the wrist so much better. It looks a lot nicer on the wrist as well. Um, obviously, everything ex is exactly the same as the 40 mil version, apart from the diameter. So um, there's not a whole lot of difference really, apart from that. But we'll still uh, have a look at it in a little bit closer detail, just so we can uh, get well acquainted with it. For those of you who haven't seen my other review, so the price of this is a little bit cheaper than the 43mm uh, version. It's £1,375, uh, that is. This, you know, is quite a lot of money, but let's not forget the uh, the main thing you're paying for, really, is the uh, SH-21 in-house movement, which uh, certainly has a lot going for it. Uh, this is Christopher Ward's in-house movement, uh, and the, the key point to, to keep in mind is that it is a true five-day uh, power reserve that's 120 hours it has uh, delivered by these two uh, twin barrels here uh, they're uh, connected in series so they uh, they very slowly um, uh, you know provide the uh, the energy uh, for the uh, for the movement to keep going for five whole days uh, without charge so that's a that's a, a key thing to, to remember um, the size of it is 40 mil in diameter with the height is it is a little bit thinner uh, but it's still quite a, a high uh, watch, and that's 13.45 millimetres, which many people uh, may still think that it is slightly too high. Um, I personally don't mind it. Uh, so here it is on my uh, seven and a quarter ish inch, inch wrist. As you can see, the 40 mil fits uh, the wrist a lot better, and it, it feels a lot more comfortable, and it looks uh, looks a lot better as well. Um, other specs include uh, 50 meters water resistance, so that'll allow it to be lightly submerged. But to be honest, I wouldn't really recommend uh, going swimming with this watch. Um, you could you could theoretically swim with it uh, shallow, in shallow waters, but you know I um, I personally wouldn't. But that's my personal preference. Uh, the strap is 20 mil wide at the uh, the lugs, going down to to 18 mil at the beta buckle. Um, and uh, the uh, sapphire crystal uh, is on top and bottom. Uh, that's museum grade sapphire crystal, uh, with uh, which is really really good. Um, I really uh, like that this grade of crystal that Christopher Ford tend to use. And then it has a, an excellent um, anti-reflective coating called AR08 uh, grade uh, coating, which I don't really know, um, you know, what it does in particular, but uh, you can see it every so often gives you a bit of a flash of of blue um, so it does do a very good job um, so uh, finally uh, thinking about the specs every watch is a chronometer so it's a uh, it has a certificate for uh, COSC um, COSC certified so that means it's uh, it's been regulated to, to very specific standards um, so that in itself is a hundred pounds straight away. Apparently, Chris told me. So, uh, you know, when you think of the the total price being just shy of one thousand four hundred pounds, it does take you know quite a a chunk out of that for for Christopher Ward's um, you know from their point of view. So, uh, so uh, don't don't forget that. Um, okay, so uh, thinking about the the dial then, as you can see, it's a very simple affair. Uh, all the printing is perfectly crisp. All these um, applied items uh, are all you know, really, really smart, really uh, well made as well. They're all nickel, um, so I really do like uh, how they are applied and how they provide a nice uh, reflection depending on the light. Uh, and they match the, the seconds hand, which can sort of disappear a little bit in the circum uh, certain circumstances, but uh, the second hand, you know, not really a problem. Uh, the, the hands are uh, blue. Obviously not um, uh, heat treated, but more like uh, chemical tr chemically treated. <clears throat> so that's a, a nice little touch because under some instances it, they look black, which is obviously 
perfectly fine, but then you do get a nice flash of colour, which uh, which is a, a very nice touch. And they're very thin, very elegant, and they, you know, it's very well designed so that the hour hand reaches just the bottom of the uh, uh, the hour markers, and the minute hand s stretches really far out, almost to the edge of the dial. So it's very elegant, uh, perfectly designed. I think all the uh, different aspects on the face are all uh, very well uh, uh, positioned and correctly sized. Uh, and of course we have our date window at three uh, with uh, a very nice little border around it uh, and the uh, uh, the white uh, of the date window matches the optic white uh, main dial uh, just uh, just perfectly to be honest so um, although it's quite a simple affair simple uh, simple design I think it's very well executed um, and I personally really really like it um, I think it looks great on very uh, very elegant uh, and uh, just um, you get the the, the appear you know the appearance of a really classic, uh, well designed timepiece. So um, it looks it look just to the eye it looks like a high quality watch. Um, obviously the uh, the sapphire crystal has a, a lot to go by that. I, f I think that a really good sapphire crystal with excellent anti reflective um, coating always makes a watch appear expensive. So. The uh, the Christopher Ward uh, anti-reflective coating in sapphire crystal in this instance is is no different. Um, it, it provides a, a very clear view. I think the camera is picking up the reflections a lot more than I am seeing with my uh, my actual eyes. Um, so the, the the clear the crystal itself is very clear, but then it's coupled with a, a very good layer of anti-reflective coating, and it's the same for the uh, for the underside as well. Um, you know, it just it appears really, really high quality and really, uh, really well put together. Very high quality uh, components used. So moving on to the uh, the case, uh, it's a three piece case. So we have the uh, the polished bezel, and then we have the case main, and then we have the the case back, uh, and it's split up nicely in the uh, in the different uh, uh, sections with different uh, finishes. So we have a nice, uh, very polished bezel. Be careful not to knock it to get any scratches on it. Then we have a, a brush sensor section, uh, which is uh, very, uh, very evenly brushed, very well made, uh, very well finished. Uh, and then again, a, a polished uh, case back uh, as well. All the finishing is absolutely spotless, um, but I'll show you in a little bit closer detail with the, with the macro lens shortly. But the finishing and the, the general um, machining and uh, shaping of the, the case is, is really good. I mean, to be honest, you would expect uh, it to be very good at a price. Uh, like this. So the case back is uh, secured by four screws in each corner which is nice, not not your usual screw in. Uh, so this is a nice uh, little you know different uh, aspect to it. Uh, and then we have five day chronometer very deeply etched on one side and then the other side we have the uh, serial number and caliber SH21. So that's, that's very nice to see, very uh, nice and deep uh, as well. Uh, so uh, if we just uh, think about the uh, movement for uh, for a moment now, you can see there the uh, the rotor spins very freely. Um, if I just get it spinning a bit, there we go. Uh, that rotor is a tungsten rotor, um, so obviously they've uh, decided that that uh, is the best uh, uh, best property to make a, a decent rotor out of because I think it's quite weighty, um, so it, it provides quite a, a, a good amount of. Uh, uh, force to uh, to uh, wind this as much as possible. Um, you can see ever so slightly the uh, the blue hue of the uh, the crystal there. Let me just give it a quick wipe. And I'll have a, another look at it. So we have these two main barrels at the top, uh, and I I really like this uh, this main bridging here. This is all hand ground. This finishing, uh, and then the beveled polished beveled edging is all hand done as well so it is very a lot of time and effort is put into each uh, movement it's, it's they're all hand finished which is you know really quite impressive uh, for the price and it is a beautiful movement as you can see uh, it's really quite impressive um, so there we go it runs at a it's a high beat movement so it runs at eight ticks a second or 28.8 thousand ticks an hour and uh, obviously because it's 
uh, COSC certified, you can be you're, you're guaranteed that it's uh, it's as accurate as a mechanical timepiece can be. So there we go. So uh, the strap, I always find Chris Ford straps are are very comfortable, very good, uh, and of course this is no exception really. It's uh, it's very high quality, and I really uh, love the Beta straps that tend to come with the more expensive watches. And if you have the option to upgrade and get one of these straps, uh, these buckles, sorry. I really, really uh, recommend it. I think that they're only about £25 pounds, uh, to upgrade uh, as, a, as an additional uh, extra. But I find they're really easy to use, they're very comfortable, very easy to adjust, uh, and also extremely slimline, as you can see there. It, barely any, uh, any extra uh, height uh, on the underside there. Uh, and uh, you get this very nice bar uh, uh, visible. So we have a... a a brushed centerpiece with the Chris Ford logo very deeply uh, engraved on it and then two polished uh, edges and you release it by uh, pressing in the, the two buttons on either side so we see here it uh, just clips onto this nipple uh, on the underside and then to, to adjust it you just release it from these two side bits uh, and then you can obviously slide it along to whatever size you want so it is really easy to use uh, so I just push that back in and then tweak it underneath these two two little arms there and that's it um, the rest of it is all completely polished so it's all very nicely finished uh, again it feels very high quality very well made everything just fits together perfectly very uh, accurately machined so that's uh, that's good um, yeah the, the leather the quality of the leather is very nice I uh, can't really go wrong with a, a plain black strap with with black stitching especially uh, with a with a white face so it is a very classic uh, style watch uh, and the leather is uh, is very uh, quite matte to the touch um, and the underside is uh, very very soft and very comfortable so it is uh, it is very uh, nice and comfortable on the wrist uh, when you're wearing it so there we go okay so let me just get the uh, macro lens on and we'll have a look at it in a little bit uh, closer detail So we'll start with the dial. Okay, so here's the Chris Ford logo. Obviously, the printing is all consider uh, very very accurate considering how fine the the print is. And the same for this down here. Let me just adjust the time a little bit just to get that out of the way. So we see how accurately uh, printed that is, and the same for this tiny Swiss made text at the bottom, and then our very subtle minute track around the outside as well. So looking at the uh, applied uh, indexes, you see that number 12 there is really nicely made, very accurately applied as well. Everything is, uh, is really uh, nice. Uh, nicely finished, highly polished, as you can see. And then the date window, you see this uh, border, which uh, provides a, a step down uh, to the uh, the date window, rather than just a, a square, straight cut out of the dial, which I I never really enjoy seeing. So that's that's a good touch there. The hands, we have this polished second hand, and then our our blued main hands like so not pitched which is quite interesting they're just flat see how long that minute hand is so there we go so yeah very simple but very uh, accurately and very well executed the, the dial is so let's just have a look at the um, the case now so here's the brushed center section and the lug. You can see the brushing is all very uh, uniform. And the other side, the 
the Christopher Ward uh, logo embossed on the end of the crown, just a push-pull crown. And the grip is uh, is very is perfectly fine for the uh, yeah, for winding and for changing the time. Uh, if we just look at this polished finish, I'll just give it a quick wipe. So it's polished on top of the lugs, and also the uh, the bezel there. It's quite hard to focus on it because it's so uh, so shiny. And then we have this uh, polished uh, case back as well. So there's the deep engraving of the text on one side. Then we have polished underside of the lugs as well, and this one of these screws. Uh, securing the case back in place. Uh, let's have a close look at the uh, the movement now. Have a pretty cool little uh, engraving here, if I can get the rotor out of the way. So that's obviously telling us that it's the Model SH21 and then the specific uh, serial number of the movement which will be associated with the COSC certificate so that's uh, reassuring to see. Uh, I really like this uh, gold plating on all the text on it as well. Uh, very nice touch there and it looks uh, pretty quality. We have some jewels, we have 31 jewels in total in this uh, SH21. There's one of the barrels. Uh, let's have a look at the other barrel. There's some more text adjacent to it. There's 31 jewels in text there, and then another barrel, and then important words of Swiss made there. So the rotor is quite plain in this instance. It's not even uh, signed, which I was quite surprised to see, to be honest. I was expecting at least Christopher Ward uh, to be signed on it. But it's, uh, it's very nicely made. You can see there that it's you know, very accurately machined, uh, just like the rest of the... Uh, rest of the movement to be honest. If I just give it a quick wind, you'll be able to see the, the barrel spinning. If I can just get a decent shot here, it's a bit awkward getting. It's very awkward in fact. Come on. The thing is with this movement is uh, it's uh, been aptly uh, oh, God. aptly described as a, a tractor, uh, so it is quite tough to wind up. Right. Can't even. I think it might be fully wound to be honest. Uh, here we go. There we go. Let's be winding it up manually. Get a decent shot on it. See it spinning there. So that didn't really work as, as well as I'd hoped. Um, so uh, let's quickly look at the Beta clasp then. We have the Christopher Ward deeply uh, logo deeply engraved on the top there with this brushed finish matching the, the case nicely. Just give it another quick wipe. And we have these polished sides as well. And one of the buttons we can press in like so. So if we open it up, we then have the nipple on the underside. And that clamps clamps onto this little clasp here, which you can release. There we go. Uh, and then finally, let's just look at the leather strap. You can see the uh, finish of the leather is very nice and soft. And uh, the stitching is all, you know, excellent and very... Uh, very uniform and very well stri uh, stitched, high quality. And we have a, a couple of stamps on the underside. We have the Chris Ford logo on one side and genuine leather on the other. You can see uh, the stitching on the, the bottom there as well. Okay. So, um, I personally really, really like it. In fact, I think this watch in particular is currently my favourite Christopher Ward watch. 
Uh, I think the size is just perfect at, at 40 mil. It would be nice if it was a little bit thinner, but uh, I mean, mostly it's to do with the uh, the thickness of the, the movement, so we can't really uh, complain about that too much. But everything about it is is really nice. I love the design. Uh, the execution is, is brilliant. It's absolutely flawless, very well made. Of course, the movement is, uh, is great as well. So a five-day power reserve, uh, an in-house movement made by uh, Johannes Janka. Uh, you know, it's very uh, unusual uh, to have a watch of this specs uh, costing this much. Don't forget, you get five-year warranty uh, with uh, all Christopher Wars, which is pretty unheard of in the watch industry. And they have such excellent customer service. So don't forget, you, you get all of that as well chronometer as well um so you know there's there's so many things going for it uh and i uh i personally am, am a great fan of it so i would highly recommend it if you can stretch to it because obviously let's face it 1375 is a lot of money but in this instance you are getting a hell of a lot of watch for that money so this was the christopher ward c9 five day 40 mil and that's what you're all about